right, we just left Dawson Creek and are heading north. Now, when we punch the Alaska Highway into the uh, GPS, it's, it's routing us way across BC through Prince George and up to Cassiar. And we read that there was a, a closure, there was a cave-in of the Alaska Highway, but I'm looking at a, a report here in the Anchorage Daily News that says it's been reopened, at least for one lane of traffic to come through. So we're taking a bit of a risk, but we're gonna head this way, because our goal is to go up the Alaska Highway, go all the way up to Tuck, come back down, and then go south on the Cassiar on the west side of BC. So I'm gonna, I don't know, I, Maybe along the way I'll try to call someone. We have friends up in Muncho Lake and maybe they will be able to give us on the ground intel, but uh, that's what this report is saying. Many others say it's closed for up to eight weeks, so um, let's hope for the best. along the Alaska Highway and um, they're notifying us that there's been a, a, a truck rollover up way up ahead and uh, on a bridge and they've blocked the road off so there's no way of us to get through tonight. So we're here at the kind of last little settlement. Um, we just fueled up with gas and there's a, a little motel type thing here. We're also under a heavy thunderstorm warning which uh, we don't mind camping in but we just don't know the area that well. So. We're gonna talk to them and see if they have a room that's pet friendly. Otherwise, we know of a, uh, we talked to the guy at the gas station and there's a, a camping area, kind of off-grid camping area up about 12 miles up the road. So those are our options, but right now it is coming down pretty good. So let's check out this little place. Uh, it's no joke, it's raining hard. You can't walk outside and not get soaked. Um, it's also Carol's birthday, just uh, we, we are doing an adventure <laughs> on Carol's birthday and uh, it's, as usual, it's turning into an unpredictable adventure. But we're trying to get enough service so that we can talk to the kids. So far we haven't been able to and every time they can hear us but we can't hear them like every three words. So that would be the best gift other than being with Pete and spending time with him. Um, but yeah. No, so that's what we're doing here. Let's and hope they have a Wi-Fi. Yeah, I'm just hoping for just a little bit so we can say goodnight to them because it's getting really late over there for them and they have an early start. But yeah, so let's check it out. Let's do it. Well, I'll let you go oh, and yeah. I'll see. <laughs> I'm gonna get soaked. That like was crazy. Was crying. That was loud. The lady in there jumped like a foot in the air. I was able to secure a room in here. There's a lot of travelers coming through and they can't get much further and the weather being the way it is, uh, these rooms are filling up fast. But I got one for Carol and I and we're gonna hunker down. They're pet friendly here, so we're gonna hunker down for the night and uh, weather the storm. We could park right here, yeah. No problem. This will work. Let's check the room out. <laughs> it's very old, old, old. I don't think it matters. We'll just be thankful for yeah. anything. Whatever we get. Let's go. So they're having a grizzly problem? Well, they have all notifications around that there's be aware of grizzlies. 
they'll wander through the parking lot on a regular basis. So. Well, this is this is like being in a cabin. Yeah. Cozy. Awesome. Well, let's go pull the car over here and then get yeah. Lando in our gear. Good plan. standing right <laughs> up and I was like wow that was that big. Was quite the, uh, quite the that was it hurt like my innards. It was like wow. that loud. Cozy we're in here though. So we heard that the, there's one lane that opened up last night, so we're super thankful for that. So we're gonna go head on down the road. I had a wonderful birthday. Thank you everyone for all the birthday wishes. Peter got me a little chocolate cookie for my cake and the kids called, so that was just awesome to hear from them. And um, it was wonderful to hear from all of you and I'm so blessed and thankful for each one of you guys. This week we started right on the border of Alberta and British Columbia in Dawson Creek and we headed up the Alaska Highway up to Fort Nelson and then all the way to the Muncho Lake region. Next we continue into Yukon across to Whitehorse and then we begin working our way up to Dawson Creek and then up the Dempster Highway all the way into Northwest Territories right up to the Arctic Ocean. We are heading out after a great sleep and a delicious breakfast and uh, thankfully the road is open as Carol said at least uh, one lane they're, they're allowing two vehicles to cross the bridge at a time because they're still checking the integrity of the bridge so um, sounds like it was a uh, quite a sorry quite an event up there um, a, a large tanker truck lost control and collided or smashed on the bridge and then the fuel began to burn so there was a big fire so I don't know, we'll see when we get up there, but at least uh, we're back on the road. Happened 
two days ago and they just opened it up. But um, what a, looks like it was a horrible fire. The entire bridge was charred and the trees around it. So anyway, it's a warning to uh, drive carefully as we go further into the north. We, we just did a little bit of reading up about that crash and we noticed the trucks weren't crossing the bridge, so they haven't they haven't uh, allowed trucks on it yet. Just vehicles about the size of our Jeep or smaller. And the reason is because of that fire, that very intense fire. It uh, they don't know whether it damaged the integrity of the bridge or not. It looks like it might have. So there's a lot of work to do to clean this one up. And uh, this this is the only highway, the Alaska Highway, that goes up to Fort Nelson and then all the way up to Yukon. And uh, for the community of Fort Nelson, trucks that go uh, normally take this route in order to get up there, it's a three day workaround. So they have to drive an extra three days to go all the way around to that town. So they're really hoping to get that bridge back up and running. <laughs> So we're just pulling into, it looks like right near Fort Nelson. Just had a black bear run across the road, Lando went nuts. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna fuel up here in Fort Nelson and then we're carrying on north into the into what they call the Northern Rockies. We can't wait to get up there. It's very wild and remote and beautiful. So construction is um, just something you're gonna encounter when you're traveling the Alaska Highway uh, in the summer. They, the winters are really rough on the road, so then they spend a lot of time in the summer getting them prepared for another winter. Especially when you get up into the Yukon where you, we start to get into permafrost, and that's a whole different story there. But yeah, just be prepared for big sections of gravel. We just filled up our Lifesaver water filter from this crystal clear stream here, uh, surrounded in the beauty of the Northern Rockies. What a gorgeous place. Um, normally, we've been through here a couple of times and we're usually in a hurry getting somewhere. 
this time we're, we're kind of taking our time and uh, going down all these little back roads and exploring. But this looks like uh, there's a couple of spots where you could camp. We may, we may just camp here or we'll press on and find a spot near Muncho Lake or, or north of there. But yeah, this whole area is just spectacular. Absolutely beautiful. When we started looking around, we noticed that the trail continued on the other side of the river. So we decided to cross the river and check it out. Checking out this road, I think it leads to a hiking trailhead that might go up that mountain. I'm not 100% sure, but in either case, it's a beautiful place to be, and maybe we'll find a camp spot back in here. farther back in the backcountry here. It's uh, extremely beautiful. Just a little trail of tire tracks over the uh, kind of the runoff area. trail just goes on forever. We're at a place now where it goes down into a steep valley, but there's a glacier in the background, which is incredible, and just mountains in all directions. So the trail gets really narrow, and it looks like it's turned more into like a quad trail. I'm sure we could get in there with the Jeep, but um, we've gone pretty far today, and so we're gonna find a camp spot somewhere, somewhere where we're comfortable, and then uh, tomorrow we'll carry on. It's a long ways back to the Alaska Highway, which we'll do tomorrow. So we turned around at the spot that was overlooking the big valley and the glacier and everything. And we're just gonna head back and find a camp. Uh, we could have gone on forever. We have Caroline's um, binoculars and we could see the road going down 
to the river and beyond. So what we did is we flagged the area on Gaia GPS and we we actually talked amongst ourselves because our nature is we'll just keep exploring around every corner and before you know it we'll be way out in the wilderness. We have lots of gas. We have our auxiliary, uh, long range brick auxiliary tank full. So we're not worried about fuel, but um, we, we got to stick to our mission. After a little discussion of should we go down there and camp by that river or should we go beyond, we said, you know what, we're on a mission to get to the Arctic Ocean. So let's avoid being sidetracked from that mission. So even though this is an incredible, beautiful place, um, we will come back when, when the kids are back and when we have both Jeeps and the bikes and the trailer and all our, our typical overlanding gear. Then we'll come in here and we'll go as far as we can. I bet you it goes right to the glacier. It must. Like it just went, but the boys would have been there and back <laughs> and, and told us. With their not. bikes, they would have been a lot further ahead of us. But anyway, um, we got to stick to the mission. We're going to the Arctic and we've made several attempts and uh, this time we're determined to get there. So back on track, we're heading maybe a couple of kilometers back towards the uh, Alaska Highway. We're still way in, so it's going to be a wild camp tonight and uh, a beautiful spot. We, we broke our promise of going straight back and we just turned to the right just to check this one area. So there's a hiking trail up here and it just opens another amazing vista and another, it looks like another glacier. It's just never ending. A little bit further and then we'll turn around. This is just an amazing spot. So we decided to just camp out here, <laughs> unlike what we said earlier, but we're not, we're on the main trail that leads back out. So we'll do that in the morning. Um, this is a, looks like a trailhead for a, a epic backcountry hiking trail, multi-day hiking trail. That's something we want to do one day as well.
And in the meantime, we'll, we'll see you down, down the road. road.